Welcome back everyone. Here we are at the Upper City Cantina. And uh, let's look for Candorus. Oh look, there he is. I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. What are you talking about? My name's Candorus Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. Mm, how do you plan to do that? I've got a plan to escape Taurus, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. Careful. Mercs like this have a lick of conscience. They'll betray you in a heartbeat. This could be a trap. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to your friend, aren't I? I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. Mm, why should I help you? Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. So, how am I supposed to get inside the military base? Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom-built by Janice Nall. Just tell her Kandorus sent you, and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Hmm, won't Davik get mad if I take his droid? Davik paid for the droid, but I'm the guy he put in charge of the mission. He won't care how I come up with those codes. Normally I'd do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. Hmm. Okay, Candorus, you've got a deal. Hmm. Much as I hate to say it, he's probably right. We're gonna need that ship. I'm going to wait in Javiar's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. So how convenient. We're looking for a, play, a way to get off this planet, and a guy comes and finds us and gives us a way off the planet. So nice. Uh, we'll call it the Force, I guess. Anyway, we didn't finish these duels, so let's do that now. Now, it is a little tricky, uh, being the scoundrel that I am, to, um, complete all the duels, but doable. Hmm, I'm ready for a duel. Chiyoka kol molera, kien konjo peshak, no ba molera ji. Chani yon tora anchi aitadia, pula una chinek ba molera slimo ang. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store, store for, for you. you. Over in this corner, a woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She's cold and quick as death itself. You know her. You love her. Ice. And in the other corner, a rising star taking that first step into the big leagues. I give you the mysterious stranger. All right, let's start out by throwing a concussion grenade. If these work, it makes my fight very easy. It did. Kill her now. Ta-da. It's over! The fight is over! The mysterious stranger has won! 
ice is knocked out cold. Looks like we have a rising star in the mysterious stranger, folks. But how high can this star soar? You'll just have to watch and see. Alright, that went extremely smoothly. Uh, I'll take one med pack just in case here. And um, I think this next fight we want an energy shield. Alright, he's just gonna give me my credits and we'll go through this kind of quickly. I'm ready for a duel. Alright, we're gonna be fighting Marl. He's a little bit of a challenge because he uses swords. Ladies We're going to have to fight him. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very Ladies special guys, presentation guys. in store for you. He's a legend in the sport, a 20-year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids a trick or two. Let's have a big hand for Marl. But there's always some young gun coming up to knock the veterans off. And we've got one of the best right here. I give you the Mysterious Stranger. All right, let's get this started. Now, throwing grenades on him is tough because he moves. And he's going to try to close in the gap. So it'd be nice if we could get a sniper shot off on him. Oh, no. Usually he can't. He's a little bit tough. So I find the best thing to do is a little bit cheap, but it works. Uh... You turn around, you shoot him like twice, and then you run. <laughs> and then you pause, and you turn around, and you shoot him like twice, and then, or sometimes three times, depending on how fast he's closing in on you, and then you run. And this method is the best method I've found for beating him. And we did miss him completely, which is unfortunate. The trick is to try to get it so he doesn't hit you. This can be tricky, because sometimes the third shot, he can close in. Oh, yep, yeah, see? And look how much damage he does to us, which is ugh. He hurts a lot. So, let's, uh, usable items. Let's use a med pack. Let's use an advanced med pack. Okay. Right, I'm gonna run a little bit. I'm gonna pause, turn around. We'll go one, two, and then run. Oops, I didn't want three, but good, we avoided damage. Oh, good, we got a little distance. One, two, three. Oh, he's gonna hit me. Nope, we're good. <laughs> We've done about half of his health. It's a little bit tedious and a little bit cheap, but we're a scoundrel. It's how it works. All right, run away. No, Tommy girl, cheat. Cheat to your heart's content. Run. Okay, we've almost got him down. Kiting for the win. The joys of a ranged weapon. This is actually a trick I learned from my... When I used to play League of Legends a lot. I haven't been playing that game so much anymore. But I like to play it now and again. Kiting is good against melee opponents. First... Oh, good, we it's got him. It's over! The fight is over! The mysterious stranger has won! Marl is down and questions abound! Is this the end for the long-time bet? Is it time for Marl to hang up his spurs? And what of the mysterious stranger? Twitch is waiting in the wings! Do you dare take a shot at the champion himself? Will the Wild Eye Wonder finally be unseated? Will we stop talking in questions? Probably not. Alright, so we took a little bit of damage, so let's top ourselves off. Um, the next fight is actually, I think, easier than that one, because concussion grenades I find work really well in this fight. Alright, he's gonna give us money, we like money. I'm ready for a duel. Alright, let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We, we have, have a, a very, very special, special presentation, presentation in store for you. you. Hold on to your seats and stay back from the edges of the ring. 
He's wild, he's unpredictable, he's borderline psychotic. And he's the best damn duelist in the game today. Give it up for Twitch. But Twitch's opponent plans to take the champion down. Night after night, battle after battle, we've watched this young phenom rise through the ranks. In this corner, the challenger for the title of Taris Dueling Champion, the Mysterious Stranger. All right, so I wish I could shoot at him first and make the, you know, Han shot first joke. But uh, the best way to start this fight, in my opinion, is a con concussion grenade. He is a ranged guy. He's just going to stand there. Oh, it didn't work. No. Oh. I got lucky last time I did this. Let's throw concussion. Actually, I want to clear that. I know how to clear those. Concussion grenade. Wow. Usually, I don't have any problems hitting him. Like, getting him stunned. Let's try that again. There we go. There we go. Once you get him stunned, it's an easy it's fight. It's over! The fight is over! The mysterious stranger has won! Twitch's reign of terror is over, ladies and gentlemen. We have a new champion, the Mysterious Stranger. Yay! Woo! I feel loved. I am adored by everyone because of my skills. But it's actually not as simple as that, and you'll see. Paris Manaris. Alright, he's gonna give us money. Nobody wants to fight. Okay, gotta give the creators of this credit. He actually said Bendix Star Killer in that um, phrase. Like they reuse certain alien quotes or whatever, like gibberish, but um they actually said Bendix Starkiller, which I thought was really cool. But uh, they sang that if Bendix Starkiller could be talked into coming out of retirement to fight us, uh, that would be awesome. And actually, he is our last bounty. If you look at our... Yep. Um, Bendix Starkiller. If you try to collect it um, from him in any other way, it, it, you just can't. This is the only way you can get the bounty. I've been watching you on the dueling ring. Not bad for an amateur. I'm tempted to come out of retirement and show you what it's like to do battle against a real champion, but I only fight in death matches. And not too many people are willing to step into the ring knowing they won't ever come out. How about you, stranger? You think you got what it takes? Hmm. You're on, Bendik. Name the time and place. Finally, fresh meat. Azure will set it up. Go talk to him. It will take some time to arrange, so no point sticking around here until then. I'll be back when it's time for you to die. All right, so, uh, Bendik wants to fight us, and the nice thing is we, that's how we can collect his bounty. The bad thing is, he is really, really tough. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, so I just wanted to show, I didn't show what he said fully, but, um, if you t try to start the match right after, it doesn't work because they have to set things up. But you can just leave and come back, which is which is nice. But this guy is so tough to fight, especially as a scoundrel. But he is, it is possible to beat him. I have done it, and it's really difficult. Uh, I might die a few times trying to. We'll see. Because he is a challenge, and you have to be a little bit cheap to beat him. And concussion grenades do not work on him. Okay, let me make sure. What do I have grenade-wise? Oh, that's not going to tell me. I think I'm doing fine on grenades. Last I checked. I want to double-check, though. Show all items. Uh, get usable, yeah. Oh, I guess that doesn't count. Let's show all. Concussion grenades. Do we have any plasma? Oh, we have three plasma grenades. That's not bad. And then we've got some frag grenades. That should be that should be fine. Okay, so I just saved it. 
just in case we die. Oh my goodness. So let's uh, put on the energy shield. Let's put on stamina and el electricity right here. Okay. Let's get on with the match. I'm ready. I'm going through this fast because I don't want my stuff to wear off. Normally I would listen to him, but... Ladies that's and gentlemen, come with me now on a journey to the savage days of years gone by. To a time when two combatants entered the arena and only one came out alive. They're illegal. They're banned. They've been outlawed for nearly ten years, but we've got one for you tonight. A good old-fashioned death match! In this corner, a living legend. A man whose very name would make his opponents shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive, <laughs> out of retirement for one last battle, Bendik Star Killer! And who would be crazy enough to step into lady? Uh, I'm gonna now, skip so my stuff doesn't the run moment out. We... Skipping some of that because I don't want my things, my stuff to run out. Oop, I kind of screwed that up already a little bit. Uh, he's throwing a grenade at me. I'm going to dodge it. Yeah, I dodged it. Okay. Uh, let's throw a plasma grenade at him. Alright, this is the trick. Run back and forth, throw grenades. That and that is the easiest way to do it. Um, I've tried several ways. Standing there and fighting ends up being a total waste of time. You will get annihilated. Unless you're like a, a, a fighting type class. Um, then you might be able to try it. But um, since we're not, and we are getting hit some, we're still going to. Alright, so we used our three plasma grenades. And we've taken out half his health. Uh, we don't want to stop an attack. We just want to throw the grenade and get the heck out of there. Throw the new grenade. Run. Throw the grenade. Oop. And you gotta cancel. So for some reason it automatically makes you combat. Uh, why is the cancelization? So you gotta cancel that. Because uh, it'll make you like do a regular attack. And we don't want that. Uh, no regular attack. Frag grenade. Wait till the beginning of your animation, and then run. Oop, okay, we're getting a little low. We want to make sure we don't lose this fight. Oh my god. Uh, so, equipable utility. We want to use an advance use item. If you use it in there, it doesn't take a turn, which is kind of cheap, but we do what we can. There we go. We almost got him killed. We're really close. I think we might do it first try. Knock on wood. Okay, one more frag grenade. We got this. Oh! Yes! First try! I'm so happy. Bendak is down! It's over! It's over! The fight is over! Bendak Star Killer is down! Bendak Star Killer is dead! All hail the mysterious stranger, the greatest duelist to ever grace the rings of Terras. I'm so happy. <laughs> so I think out of everything in the beginning of Terrace, that is the hardest thing you have to do because you're by yourself. And oh man, I'm so happy I did that first try. All right, let's take our money for that. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Now, where's my share of the purse? Did you just say cookie? Because that sounds really good. I think I deserve a little extra for putting my life on the line. Oh, 
credits for us we are rolling in the dough and we can also collect the bounty from the uh, hut in the lower city which we will do later in fact um, what I think I'm going to do well actually we have to go to that cantina anyway because um, that's where Candace is going to meet us so I'm not going to do that right this moment I'm going to go down there when I meet uh, Candace after we get the the codes but the next place we have to go is to pick up the droid davix droid so uh in the next video we will do that and uh, i will actually meet you guys at the droid shop that i showed you guys earlier